Yo, Spider-Man No Way Home is the only MCU film in this current phase to hit a billion. Doctor Strange 2 came up short. I enjoyed that movie. It was awesome. Had a little issues in there in terms of comic book accuracy and what characters were doing, but it was still an enjoyable film. But as awesome as Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness is, it did not hit that billion dollars and neither did the other films in MCU Phase 4. And I don't even know if Thor Love and Thunder is going to hit a billion. I think it will. I think it's going to whoop Doctor Strange's ass at the box office, but we shall see. But Spider-Man No Way Home is the king of MCU Phase 4. And actually, since Spider-Man No Way Home almost made $2 billion almost, you're talking about that Spider-Man No Way Home made more money than the majority of MCU films. I want you to think about that because these Cap and Marvel fans out here will have you believe that all MCU movies have made a billion dollars. That is so fucking not true. You got to look at the box office, okay? These MCU films, they've been killing it financially now, but I'm just saying the standard nowadays for a lot of these comic book movies, especially if you're an MCU movie, you're expected to hit the billion dollars. And if you don't, boy, that is considered underperforming, regardless of whatever Cap and fan want to say. But Spider-Man No Way Home, as we know, some of the reason why it was successful is because of Sony. OK, it's not 100 percent Kevin Feige. Sony had they fucking hands in the cookie jar, too. I love Spider-Man No Way Home. The movie is a masterpiece. It's one of the best comic book films of all time. Three generations of Spider-Man and the characters and fans coming together. And it just was a great once in a lifetime experience. And I'll tell you what, I prefer Spider-Man No Way Home over Avengers Endgame. Uh-oh, did I ruffle some feathers? Because Avengers Endgame is on a lot of humans' pedestal, even though when you look at the three hours of that movie, the first two hours was fucking lacking, and that last hour is where it's at. But all of Spider-Man No Way Home was fucking amazing. It just was a great time. I've already seen it more than three times from beginning to end, and I got to watch it again as soon as possible. But Spider-Man No Way Home is millions and millions of miles ahead of anything in MCU Phase 4 is fucking ridiculous. Uh, ridiculous. The rest of the shit can't even measure up. It's been falling short. They can't even see Spider-Man No Way Home. You know what I'm saying? He didn't swing. He's just swinging across the city and stuff. He's just like Spider-Man's like, man, miss me with y'all's mediocrity. I'm Spider-Man. And yo, there's three of us. What y'all gonna do? And the answer is not a goddamn thing because they've been falling short. All these different shows, right? Eh, you know what I'm saying? These movies in Phase 4, eh, you know, but Spider-Man No Way Home, you the champ. Terrence out.